Of course the sun goes away as soon as I start filming. What is my luck? Seriously, it was so sunny all day, and now it's raining. Because why wouldn't it be raining? So I left off at Emily the last video. Uh, if you didn't see that video yet, you should probably watch it. It will be up here. So yeah, click that, watch that first, and then come back and watch this one, okay? We good. Okay, I said it was raining. Now there's a full-fledged snowstorm. Welcome to Canada, eh? So, I had some spoilers yeah. this, like yesterday, I guess. Uh, my friend Marcus apparently has some like insider information guy who told him who the last four uh, returners were. So I was like, oh no, like, you're probably wrong, like, I think Kenny's gonna come back. No, he was dead on, like, I don't know how he knew, like, he's a fortune teller or something, like, I have no idea. I'm, like, really distracted by the snowstorm. It's pretty intense. But anyways, uh, let's get to this video, So I don't want to be all day. So this is Aika Wong. She's unapologetic and sassy. I guess shredded her chance to win along with those letters and BB can too. And is looking to take this second chance one week at a time. She's 32 from Thornhill, Ontario and is a financial services manager. Yeah, she like shred some letters. It was pretty dramatic. Can I see the word bitch? Okay. So. Hey Canada, the bitch is back. I'm Aiko Wong, and I'm from season two. There are people who went a lot further than me, but you think of season two, you think of Aiko Wong. Aiko Wong listens to nobody but Aiko Wong. And nobody wants to hear you either! I just have one of those faces where it's just a little bit scary. <laughs> RBI. I actually didn't know that I rolled my eyes that much. Nobody ever told me that you roll your eyes all the time. I did. I think it's just like a part of me. My letter. My iconic moment on the show was when I shredded everyone's letters. You're an ass. Mm -hmm. show. You Absolutely not. I do not regret shredding their letters. They deserved it. They were backdooring me. Goodbye. Good greetings. Thank you. Awesome. It's my proudest moment because I know I did the right thing. Kenny. Oh my god. I was already in the walk. So the nerve of them to cry. That I'm that I'm shredding their precious little letters when they're sending me home. Like, get out of here. I want a second chance because I left that house way too soon. I feel like I could have been one of the great players. I'm not going to go out without a fight. If you guys thought they were shredding with a fight, you haven't seen anything. She's definitely going to bring uh, some spice to this season, I feel. Yeah, like, definitely going to bring some spice and some dramatics. Which is fine by me. I hate boring seasons, so I like it when there's a bit dramatic. It's happening, like, you know, people getting up in each other's faces, like fights and all that. I like that. So bring it on, Ika. Bring it. Okay, so this is Demetrius. G Giantius tried. Uh, this confident, self-possessed beefcake loves to work out and is looking to align with alpha males to make it to the end. Of course. He's 25 from Edson, Alberta and is an oil field instrument technician. So he's already being all like, oh yeah, I'm going to make an all-guys alliance sweet because those are always fun I think my first impression is I'm probably going to be looked at as like the meathead 
And it's probably not that far from the truth either, so. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dimitri Genitsos. I'm 25 years old from Edson, Alberta, Canada. The kind of house guest I'm going to be really depends on who's in the house. If, uh, if I feel like I'm going to be annoying a lot of people, I might have to uh, scoop down to their level and kind of play, with, play nice with them. But if uh, there's some fun people in there, I'm probably going to be pretty loud and obnoxious. I definitely plan on uh, pushing buttons in the house. I really, it's just kind of how what I do. So, <laughs> I, I usually feel people out, and if they're if they're cool, I'll definitely poke fun at them. And I might, I definitely take it a little too far sometimes. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can definitely. He has turn a big off. smile. I don't know. I bet you if there was another person like me pushing my buttons, I probably wouldn't like it. I'm kind of like a, a check valve. I can I can dish it out, but I don't know how well I can take it. We'll see. My motto in life is uh, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing, you're not uh, bettering yourself. So I like putting myself in uncomfortable positions. I'm really excited to not have to go to work for like, you know, the foreseeable future, which is half the reason why I applied. But I'm really excited to play like POV comps, HOH comps, and then, you know, see who's in the house and experience the whole thing. Yeah, you guys don't even know my is. Like, I'm not telling any jokes in the house. Is the camera rolling? Okay, I'm not telling the joke with that rolling. No way. Interesting. I want to know what the joke was, to be honest. Oh well. He seems okay. A little bit dry. But, like, they all seem a little bit dry, to be honest. This is Dallas Cormier. Why is it not look? There you go. Ah, okay, so that green thing that I thought they were holding, I think that's just part of the floor. Because before he loaded it, it was just the floor. And I thought Michael was just like, is that his name? No, William. Michael. <laughs> I thought William was holding something. <laughs> that was funny. Anyways, so Dallas Cormier, after being voted out by his allies and BB Can forward, Dallas is focused on really getting to know each house guest during his second chance. He's 25 from St. John's, New Brunswick. He's a lobster fisherman and a welder. He's actually, like, funny, you know? People don't give me the credit that I deserve. I can play harder than anybody that's ever walked through those doors. And I will. What's up, Canada? Daddy Boy is back! Dallas Cormier. I'm from Big Brother Canada season four. Let the games begin! When I was in the Big Brother Canada house, I had a girlfriend, but she seen me in bed with Kelsey and Cassandra. I come home to an empty apartment. The car's gone. She was gone. <laughs> and then the job that I had for six years, I got laid off. It seems like as soon as I got evicted, it was like the beginning of the end. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. Well, I came back down to Grand and Ann. I found a really good job. Lobster fishing. It's a rush. You're out there in the middle of the bay of fun day, and all you can see is water. You're working 16 hours a day, nonstop. But I was working with my best friend. I'm going to start getting into shape. You know, I'm single. So everything's looking up pretty easy. The biggest mistake that I made last year was I aligned with people too early. You know, Lavita, Shari, Ramsey, Maddie. Those guys didn't have the best intentions for me like I had for them. I purely did this for us. Oh my god, there's no way you can say that with a straight face. So this time around, I think I'm definitely going to try to get to really know who these people are, really see if they're a truthful person, and that's who I want to line myself up with. If you're on my team, I'll ride or die with you 100%. Having the opportunity to play again, I'm very excited. I feel like I didn't reach my full potential last time I played. I was the fourth person evicted. No body dotty, but I know that I can go to the end of this game. Making his way to the center. I definitely want to play a little more cool, calm, and collected, but I can't hide my emotion. Yeah, I don't like blood, brother. People were saying I was a little hot headed. Well, they didn't see nothing yet. Guy boys here for the W, baby. He's interesting. Like, he's a funny guy. I like funny people. The lobster career actually fits him, to be honest. Jeez, there's like literally a layer of snow, and like today there's no snow. What are you doing, Mother Nature? Get it together. Speaking of moms, here is the mom of the show. 
Karen Singviel. This mother of three thinks her ability to adapt will give her an edge in the house. She's 53 from Victoria, B.C. and a real estate broker. So that makes her the oldest in the house. And Bruno is the second oldest. Whew. I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> I've been like up all day, I guess. But I never hear any Canadians say a boot. You say this. Taco, pasta. And so I always tell people I am bilingual. I can speak American and Canadian. Hey guys, I'm Karen Singbeal. I'm 53 years old and I'm from Victoria, British Columbia. Okay, I'm American and Canadian. I got my citizenship after living here 18 years. Well, I will be the annoying mom, probably. Honey, the moms totally get targeted early. Like, we have a target in her back going into the house, and I know that. She sounds so a bit Canadian, I gotta try to get with people right away outside of buying you dinner and doing your laundry, because I will not be doing that. But there's value in people like me, because I can strategize. But if you said you can fuck somebody out of the end of the money for 10000 and stay in the house, it'd be like, okay, what do I press? This one? Boom. Done over. You know what they say about people that swear a lot? They say that we're more honest, so I'm going with that. Oh, 100%. I just make up random words with f in it. Like, f face, I think I coined that. 100%. Will they be embarrassed by me? I'm already apologizing in advance. I'm sorry if I embarrass you. And I told my husband the same thing. I'm sorry already for what I might do. 100%. I think she's funny. Uh, she could make it, I guess. Usually, like, the older uh, contestants don't really make it that far. But she might be the first one, maybe. Like, she seems pretty cool. So this is Cindy with an S. Gotta make sure that you uh, say it that way, Cindy with an S, so people don't get confused That's with a C. Because, you know, wouldn't want that to happen. Uh, she's a competitive beast in BB Can 3. Cindy is looking to improve her social game for a second shot at the win. She's 27 from Toronto, Ontario, and she's a beauty queen. I didn't like Cindy on her season, to be honest. I'm kind of annoyed that she's back on the show. But whatever. Guess who's back? Cindy with an S is going to get a second chance with a giant S. Where is it this way? Since leaving the Big Brother Canada house, I've been extremely busy. I still compete in beauty pageants, both internationally and nationally. And I now dance for an NBA minor league dance team. When I played in season three, I'm Cindy with an S. I'm Cindy with an S. I'm Cindy with an S. My game, in my opinion, was horrendous. Honestly, as much as I like Kevin, I know he's not going to help my game. I never checked the bathroom before I started a conversation. So I just had to go pee. Nice conversation, though. I think that caused a lot of people to see me in a different light, but I never gave up. In order to dethrone King Zach at the time, I need to get rid of his big knight, this was Jordan. So unfortunately I had to flip the house around on my own showman. I vote to evict Jordan. Godfrey, you are safe. Wow, I am shocked, I am stunned. I feel like doing that big move made an impression on Canada, so I think I deserve a second chance because if I can do that in one week, imagine what I can do in four, six. Or maybe the entire 10 weeks time. You're dreaming. I want to have this opportunity to really show you what I can do. Cindy with an S is rewriting her history in this house by using a capital S, telling everyone to stay out of my sassy way because I'm going to win. Stop with the S's, I swear to God. With a capital S. Oh, I can't. I can't. So this is Dylan Carman. Kind of reminds me of Cartman, you know, from uh, Soul Park. This professional boxer and current Canadian heavyweight champ is a strong and powerful competitor, but a teddy bear at heart. He's age 30 from Maddox, Ontario, and like he said, he's a professional boxer. That's actually not that far from me. That's pretty cool. I think that's like the closest any like house guest has like lived to me. 
my will, my drive, it's gonna all gonna add up to a W. Yeah, let's bro it up. Let's bro it up. Let's hug it out. Let's cuddle. Whatever you know, whatever I gotta do. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dylan Carmen. I'm 30 years old from Maydock, Ontario. I'm the Canadian heavyweight champ, boxer. I think boxing is gonna help me in a lot of ways. Uh, just my dedication to the sport and uh, my my perseverance and mental mm -hmm. toughness, uh, physical toughness. Uh, there's a yeah, he'll be good at comps. Boxing holds. Yeah, I'm a big teddy bear. But when, when the time comes, I flip the switch if I need to. Girls, like, they want to meet me, and guys kind of want to be me. Everybody everybody wants to meet me as far as everything goes, and, and I'm a nice guy and uh, easy to talk to, so I think that's going to translate well. Uh, I want to have more irons in the fire than just boxing. Like I, yeah, I'm not just a dumb boxer, so I want to I wanna be able to use my attributes that God gave me in, in different ways, so this is one of them. Yeah, unfortunately, I do think I'm going to be a target uh, walking into the house. You know, maybe for, if I, I feel like if I get past the first couple of weeks and I have a good chance of winning, probably be scared of slop the most because I'm a big guy, I like my food. So, uh, Don't have to Gary so then. Some, I've heard some wretched things about the slop, but that's probably the most. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited me. about this experience and just taking it day by day. I can I can pick out a liar very easily, but I'm not very good at lying. But so trust is trust is an issue with me only because I've been lied to. Uh, it's, it's been a dream of mine to be on the show, and and, uh, and now I got the opportunity. So, honestly, I feel like I've already won. Interesting. He seems pretty cool. I don't like his haircut, though. It's bothering me. <laughs> That's, like, the one thing that bothers me. <laughs> oh. I keep looking outside. It's just so distracting. Like, Why? So, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm such a mess. So this is Cassandra. I'm not going to try saying her last name because I don't even know. She's just cast to me. I didn't really like her in her season though, but whatever. She's back again, so like with Cindy. She's a deceitful and cunning player and BB can for Cassandra has no intentions of switching up her strategy, but will try and make her fellow house guests believe otherwise. She's 23 from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and a marketing manager. Oh, I just don't like her. She annoyed me. Do I think I'm one of the best players that's ever played Big Brother Canada? <laughs> For sure. You wish. Watch your facts, Canada, because I'm back, and I'm ready to win this season. The show I want it all about me, it's the Cassandra Show. I'm Cassandra Shampar. I'm 23 years old. I'm a sales and marketing manager in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Since I've left the Big Brother Canada house, life has been amazing. I have a serious career. I'm really settled in my life back in Winnipeg, so coming back into the house is so exciting, it's a dream come true. I deserve a second chance because I really believe that I played the best game in my season. I was so close to the win and it was just taken away from me in a blink of an eye. We are going to have to say goodbye to Cassandra today. I love you, Cass. Cassassinators. But this year that won't happen. Can't get too comfortable in this game. I'm going to play the exact same game I did last season. Hashtag Betches. I lied when I had to. You're not going up on the block. You're good. Check it. I fake pride when I had to. I just want you to know that this, despite everything that's happened in this game, that we can still be friends. Yeah, yeah I'm going to definitely have to bring up those manipulation skills to make people believe all my lies. <laughs> I'm just here to win. Will I backstab this season? Absolutely, I will. I think I'm a villain, but people love a villain. Eat, eat, eat. People that watch Big Brother Canada don't want that little angel that was there to make friends and not hurt anyone's feelings. I don't know where you think you are, but you go somewhere else. I'm in there to play Big Brother Canada and to win. Hope that I make all the assassinators proud. Bet. Like, she's entertaining to watch. I'll give her that. But, I don't know, I just don't like her. 
I'm not sure why. I just don't. This is Jackie Mur McCorak. She's fun, outgoing, and silly. This fiery redhead is a guy's girl who plans to focus on mental strength and keeping her head in the game. Head in the game. Just like I've said, like, all this bottom row, most of them, their heads aren't in the game. Like, come on, Troy Bolton. Get with it. She's 22 from some place in British Columbia. I don't know how to say that. And she's a professional pizza maker. I didn't know that was a job. I want to be a professional pizza maker. I love pizza. She seems fun. Let's see. I hope Canada just sees her as a fun redhead that, you know, it's fun to watch on TV. I'm coming in the house and I'm taking over the ginger ninja position, okay? Ginger ninja. My name's Jackie Makura. I'm 22 years old from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. I'm a good listener and I'm pretty good with giving advice and just being like an ear and shoulder to cry on. My motto in life is I like every single person until they give me a reason not to like them. If you push me to my um, boiling point, then I will call you out on it, and I will, if I really don't like you, I'll just confront you right away. If it's something that I'm unsure about why you're doing something that's disrespectful, then I'll confront you in a nicer way and try to get your side of the story first. I can be mean. I can. <laughs> I don't like to be mean, but when I have to be or when I, it comes out, then I can be mean. If you're a customer and you're being rude to me, like, I have to keep a smile on my face and I have to tell you, oh, Relatable. sure, you're right, I'm wrong, I'll get that fixed for you right away. The thing with when I get explosive is that I get emotional and I probably start crying, even though I'm angry, I'll just cry. I, look, I like to look at other redheads and be like, wow, that's like a great outfit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that together and wear it for me because it looks good on you. I mean, I want to just be like the sweet redhead, you know, that is nice and easy to talk to, I don't want to become that, like, that mean, aggressive redhead. She seems sweet. I like her. Her and Emily are my favorite newbies. I think it's funny how Cass was like, oh, you can't come into this game expecting to make friends with everyone. And then, like, the girl underneath her is like, yeah, I want to be friends with everyone. Like, is that a coincidence? Like, I mentioned, like, the placement of them, like, with Gary and Dre and, like, Netta and Mark. But, like, I don't know. I think I'm, like, reading too much into it. Probably doesn't mean anything, but I don't know. The last four were kind of boring. I mean, the last eight, like compared to like the first eight. I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. But like, whatever. Like, I kind of want to be like, oh, like here's who I think's gonna win and whatnot, and like the order of like who's gonna lose. But like, it's hard to tell because you don't know what kind of comp it's gonna be. You don't know if it's gonna be mental, physical. Uh, like, some people are better at physical than mental, and vice versa, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go and say, like, Gary is my top pick. I think he's gonna win. Um, my top three are Emily, Gary, and Netta. Those are my top three. Said it, not taking it back. Um, I think I'm gonna do, like, a thing, um, uh, like, w once a week after like, all three episodes, uh, air or whatever, or, like, I don't know, maybe pick a day, like, Sunday or something, Sunday or something, and I'll film a video, and I'll, like, talk about, like, who got HOH, who they, uh, put up for eviction, who won PLV, uh, and, like, who got eliminated, so basically, like, kind of like a review of, like, like kind of like a summarize. Like, if you didn't watch it, you can, like, watch my video and be like, oh, yeah, that's what the comp was, blah, blah, blah. So you're, like, up to date if, like, you don't have time. Um, and then I think every week I will do kind of, like, a guess on, like, what's going to happen next week. On, like, who's going to go, who's going to be HOH and whatnot. So, yeah, I think that will be fun. It will be something different. Uh... The last video that I did, I forgot to, like, ask questions. And I, like, put it down in, like, the bio below, like, the description. And I was like, oh, I forgot to say. So I'm like, I don't know, I'm really forgetful sometimes. But 
down in the comments below, let me know who you think out of these 16 players are going to win. Is it 16? Yes, 16 players are going to win Big Brother. Who are your favorites? Who do you not like? Like, who do you think is going to lose? Like, I think, like, automatically William's gone, like, the first week. That's my guess. Um, so, yeah, let me know, like, who you think is going to go out first week. Uh, who's your favorite Big Brother guest of all time? Like, mine's Nicole from the American series. Uh, but uh, Canadian, I guess it would be Allison. So, yeah, uh, let me know who your favorites are, uh, who you did not like. Are there any other people uh, that were selected to return for this season that like, you absolutely do not like and you wish that was someone else? Like, let me know. Like, I wish Kenny was in this season or, like, Allison. Oh, I just, I'm not over it. I can't. But, yeah, let me know, okay? And uh, follow me on Twitter. Snapchat, Instagram, and I have a Facebook page for this YouTube account, so make sure to follow that and like it, and you'll get updates on when I'm making videos and, like, some polls, like, uh, you can give your opinion on what you want me to do. Like, I want to do music reviews. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Like, I did, like, the two reviews for the Ed Sheeran singles. Well, I guess, like, the one review for the two Ed Sheeran singles. But I hear, like, they're cracking down on stuff like that. Like, copyright infringement. So, I'm not really, like, digging that. I'm not like, oh, yeah, I want, like, definitely want that. So, no, I don't. So, I'm just going to avoid that for now. Uh, see what's up. And then maybe, like, in the future I will do music reviews. Like, I don't know, I just don't want to, like, have a copyright infringement on my channel. So, we'll see where things go. Maybe I'll post, like, another Sims video soon. Um, I know, like, people are like, oh, stop making Sims videos. Like, do other things. So, I'm trying to do other things. This is, like, me doing something else. Um, but, yeah, I might make another video tonight. Like, during the same day. Like, it won't be up tonight because my internet sucks. But what can I do? But yeah, anyways, I'm going to do an outro this time because I had a message about the part one where I didn't have an outro. And they were like, oh, where's your outro? Like, you didn't dance. So maybe that's going to be my thing. I'm just going to dance. So, yeah. Here you go. Shine bright, Novas. Peace. Just cry.